opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. e6 opens up a line for the dark-squared bishop and prepares to castle quickly, while preparing to push a pawn to d5 and recapture with a pawn if captured. nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. c5 attacks the d4 pawn, asking white if they will allow the exchange on d4 or if they will push the d4 pawn to d5. d5 takes space in the center and controls the e6 and c6 squares. This prepares the bishop for development. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This is an equal trade. Takes back. g6 prepares to fianchetto the dark squared bishop to g7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. g3 prepares to fianchetto the light squared bishop to g2, where it will sit on the long diagonal. bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. Bg2 places the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Re8 develops the rook to control the half open e file. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. Master Games. It is the last book move. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This misses an opportunity to kick a bishop. It is a mistake. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This attacks a queen, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This kicks an opposing bishop. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is excellent. This allows the knight to control more squares. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. This is the only good move. This threatens to kick a knight. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is a great move. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to kick a knight. This stops the opponent from being able to kick a knight. It is good. This misses a great but hard to find move. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. It is a mistake. Right on target. It is best. This threatens to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This attacks a knight, winning a tempo when it moves away. This is the only move that works. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is a great move. This kicks an opposing knight. It is best. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. This lets the opponent capture a rook to win material. It is a mistake. Capturing that rook wins material. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures, from a previous move. It is good. This is an equal trade. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. This kicks an opposing bishop. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. Very precise. It is best. That's fine. It is good. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. Recaptures. 
it is good. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is best. This forks multiple pieces. It is best. This defends a vulnerable knight by pinning one of its attackers. It is best. That was a free bishop. It is best. This wins time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. A very strong play. It is excellent. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is excellent. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This wins a tempo by threatening a knight and forcing it to move away. It is best. This simultaneously reveals an attack on a pawn and checks the king. It is excellent. This captures a knight that checked the king. It is best. Takes back. It is excellent. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is excellent. This defends the attacked queen. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. Recaptures. This is the start of the end game and black is losing. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is excellent. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is excellent. One of the best moves. It is excellent. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game.